Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm glad to see that we have a big crowd here. This is a great day for us. This always kicks off the holiday season at uh, Oxmoor Auto Group. And my name's Del Farmer, and I'm the CEO of Oxmoor. Uh, we look forward to this every year. Keys to Progress is an event that takes a great deal of preparation and coordination from various groups. I'd like to recognize them today. Progressive Insurance, the National Auto Body Council, YMCA of Greater Louisville, and then our collision staff. I know they put a lot of uh, man hours into this and they volunteered a lot of their time. So please give them a round of applause. At Oxmoor Auto Group, cars are our business, but this community is our family. We have a responsibility to assist those in need, and I'm proud to say that we're doing just that in cooperation with others in this room today. In fact, the program that helped inspire us to create Hope in Motion at all the Oxmoor locations, where we will be feeding a family for every vehicle sold through November 30th. Again, thank you for everyone here today. Thank you for joining us. And a special congratulations to the Huff family. Now I'd like to uh, introduce Bill Carlisle from Progressive up to the podium to give your remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Dell. Uh, today at Progressive, um, on this day, actually about right now, uh, well, it started this morning. Uh, this morning on the Today Show on NBC, they actually gave a recycled vehicle away uh, through Keys to Progress live. Uh, I didn't get to see it, but uh, I bet it was pretty cool. But today, uh, we're going to honor veterans like Jared, uh, over 100 of them, with a, uh, with a new vehicle. Uh, the countrywide event we call is called Keys to Progress. Uh, it's going to be hosted in over 60 major markets. Um, just like the event we're hosting here today. We've come uh, together with a lot of great partners to make this whole day a big reality, and um, i got to thank a few of them, because without them, this, this doesn't happen. Uh, the NACB for their role and support through the Recycled Rights Program. Uh, Oxmoor Collision Center. Um, these guys in the back wearing green shirts with the say Army Strong in the back. They're the reason we're here today. And uh, they've been a great partner. This is our sixth year with Oxmoor Collision Center doing this. And uh, I remember six years ago, I, I couldn't have picked a better, better partner to do this with. Um, Enterprise, their generosity, the partnership every year. They're here. They come in uh, numbers. They help support the family. They help support the program. And uh, I appreciate you guys very much for that. Uh, IAA, through a parent company that they have, Insurance Auto Auctions. Um, they donate a one-year uh, warranty on the vehicle um, that um, will cover it from bumper to bumper. Um, Pet Boys, who's actually here in the audience today, they're brand new to uh, our partnership. Uh, couldn't be happier about that. They give uh, a gift card, and it's going to cover the maintenance for this vehicle for the first year of it. Um, 1-800 Charity Cars, uh, for their role in the titling, getting the paperwork together so that I can hand it off to Oxmoor and they take care of getting this vehicle uh, registered and a license plate put on it. Um, Veracity Research Company for their help in the background and the research we need to do in order to pick the right recipients. Um, the progressive staff here in Kentucky, huge. Um, uh, I'd be wrong not to uh, say thank you to Amy Morris, Lindsay O'Donnell, and uh, Marty Brenzel for their support this year and helping get this getting this event to, to happen. And then um, another new partner for us this year, the uh, Greater Louisville YMCA Group, for uh, walking us in the door and helping us find a veteran family and uh, couldn't, couldn't be happier with, with the partnership we've established with the YMCA. Um, Jared, thank you for your service. Um, honored that you're here today and uh, congratulations. And with that, I'd like to welcome Steve Tarver, President of the uh, Greater Liberal YMCA. Thank you. I'd say we're in a time where we need some good news. What do you think? 
And so that's why I'm so happy to be here. I will give you one choice to start off with. I'm, I'm from the YMCA, and it's, uh, so we have our summer camps and our after-school programs and so forth. So I'm going to say good morning, and you have two choices. You can either give me a robust good morning back in return, or we'll sing one verse of John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. <laughs> All right? So good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I love that. And I'm glad you didn't make me try to sing. Um, but uh, I'm d delighted on a good news day, on a, on a time where we need some good news. And, um, and particularly, I'm a huge fan of the military, so to the Huff family, we're grateful for, for your service as well. And it gives me a chance to recognize, too, that um, YMCA has been in the United States 167 years. And going back to the Civil War uh, y is when YMCA first started serving the military. And um, fast forward that through all of the conflicts, but up until... Um, Camp Zachary Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky, used to, that used to be out, as I understand it, in the, in the vicinity of the airport. Well, the YMCA served 10,000 soldiers a day on that installation. And uh, in fact, um, the YMCA placed a, uh, an African-American uh, teacher out there. Uh, in fact, his name was James Bond. I'm assuming he's the original 007. But, um, and he was placed there by the YMCA to teach the African-American soldiers how to read and write stay in touch with their families and so forth. And so, um, so with that, that also leads us to the current level of the, the, the national organization of the YMCA has an arm called the Armed Services YMCA. Jared, I don't know if you've ever run across any of that, but um, there are YMCAs located in, on, the, on the grounds of 55 military installations across the country even today. So cheer just like he just gave us. So, um, so anyway, so that, that brings it full circle for me personally as well as for our local YMCA uh, here in Greater Louisville. So um, with that, uh, it, it, I feel like it brings us right back to our roots and, and the, the special celebration and appreciation event for our military in general and for the Health family in particular is a great honor for me and I'm grateful to be alongside of these uh, partners as well. We've got a number of staff here, but I should... Mike Bramer, who's at Norton Commons, has been our liaison to this program. And then Tom Wharton and Jordan Gagel are here from the Southeast YMCA. Uh, the CEP director is here where, they, where the children attend after school. And we're just grateful that you all are also part of the YMCA family. I just had a question for the boys. Is the water warm enough when you go swimming at the Southeast Y? Is it warm? Okay, I'm getting a yes on that. So Tom, you're off the hook right now for that. But uh, it's a privilege to be here and thank Jared Huff and uh, his wife Sarah and their sons Owen and Ollie for their service. Um, you know, Jared served in the Army from 2008 to 2012. And during that time, he completed two combat tours, one in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. A great deal of appreciation is owed to you, Jared, and to your family uh, for that service. So he and his wife Sarah, along with Owen and Ollie, are members of the Southeast YMCA. Uh, they participate in our after-school program at Audubon Elementary, uh, our, the summer camp, the youth sports, and swim lessons at the Y, and that's why we need to keep the, warm, the water warm enough for them to, to be able to do that. So uh, Jared continues to serve in the Kentucky National Guard. It's, it, I guess it's, it's the gift of his family that just keeps on giving to us every day. So we'd like to add to, to the big prize, we'd like to add a little bit, and maybe, um, Jared, maybe if you could come up and and Jordan, your friend Jordan is here um, with us. Why don't you grab that? So, so anyway, we'd like to add a one-year community-wide family membership to the package. We'd like to, to add a the, the, uh, couple of uh, the youth programs in which they're already very active. And uh, some other gift items, uh, including my favorite which are these little flashlights that I give to people that help brighten up our world. And if anybody deserves that, it's the Huff family. So, um, so Jared, Sarah, Owen, Ollie, we're grateful for your participation, your, your service, and your sacrifice that we allows us to stand here today in a free country. So um, we hope that you enjoy all the gifts, including staying close to the YMCA. And uh, we wish you Godspeed in all that you do. So thank you for your service. Thank you for all the partners. And uh, thank you for being here with us today. God bless you.
So I get the pleasure of introducing Mark, Mark Christensen. I just met him today, and I, he was telling me all the things that the enterprise is contributing to this program. So I, I I'm, would ask that all of us welcome Mark Christensen from Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Thanks, Steve. Great job. I'm glad we did not have to sing, though, so that's a good thing for sure. Um, on behalf of Enterprise Rent-A-Car, I am so excited uh, that we're here today. And uh, this is our sixth year in a row that we've been a uh, part of this and uh, just an awesome day, um, awesome initiative. And uh, I definitely want to thank uh, you know, Progressive and Oxmoor and the YMCA for their great partnership and allowing us to, um, to be part of this. It's just a, a terrific event. So, um, you know, Keys to Progress really represents two fundamental core values that are super important to our company. And uh, the first being giving back to the communities where we work and, and live. And the second being just in any way possible, anything we can do to support the, uh, the military and the veterans. And uh, I think some of you know that our, our company's pretty deep rooted in the military uh, tradition and heritage. Um, our founder, Jack Taylor, served as a uh, World War II fighter pilot on the USS Enterprise. And uh, so 65 years ago or so, when he founded the company, that's where the name derived from. So uh, very proud of that, uh, that heritage and that history there. Um, today, we continue to um, honor our men and women that serve or have served. And we look for any opportunity we can to uh, provide opportunities for them. Uh, very pleased to uh, announce that 10% uh, of our U.S. workforce is, is comprised of either um, active military or military veterans. Uh, we have added 30,000 uh, plus uh, to our workforce, I'm sorry, 10,000 plus to our workforce over the last six years. Um, and really uh, a cool stat that uh, just came across my desk recently, we have 1,300 active military, or military sp spouses right now that are uh, employed with us. So obviously uh, very important to us, very important to our workforce and uh, just a big part of our uh, overall culture. You know, I got a chance to meet Jared just quickly, uh, you know, before we started here, but uh, the Huff family, what a great family. Um, obviously very busy. We got some active boys and uh, uh, having a lot of fun. I, I think they're having a good time here and certainly waving the, uh, the, the flag proudly, which is great to see. But, um, you know, Jared, just your commitment, your service, your sacrifice, uh, two tours of duty. It's just, I can't even imagine. So, Thank you so much for you know you and your family and what you've uh, done for our country. We certainly certainly appreciate it. Um, you know, a small token of our gratitude. Uh, we'd like to present to you uh, the Huff family a uh, insurance policy, obviously uh, written through Progressive, um, <laughs> for the uh, for the next six months to cover this vehicle. Um, and then we kind of reached out to our Kentucky employee base and uh, rallied them and kind of explained what, how important this initiative was to us. And true to form, like they always do, they really came through and uh, through donations and uh, just uh, an involvement there. Um, we'd like to also present you $2,000 worth of uh, gas gift cards uh, to kind of soften the uh, fuel burden that's, you know, obviously we all face on that. So hopefully that will help a little bit. But we know how important uh, reliable transportation is, and especially a young family and being able to, uh, to, to, you know, have that aspect is uh, hopefully just an ease in, uh, in your daily life on that. So thanks again for allowing us to be part of this uh, terrific event. Thanks again to uh, all the partners up here and thank you to the Huff family for what you guys have done and the sacrifice and overall service. Um, I'll now turn it over to Wes from Oxmoor Collision. Thank you. Welcome. My name is Wes Osborne. I'm the general manager here. <clears throat> this is my first time being involved in this, and I got to say I'm honored. I'm honored to uh, help a military family like the Huffs. It's a it's a wonderful thing. I wanted to touch a little bit on the process. Obviously, Progressive donates the vehicle. It's then towed to us. Uh, we disassemble it and assess the damage, and then we get a game plan for what we're going to do to the vehicle, and um, repair all the damage, dents, dings, scratches, you know, collision damage that I had. Um, uh, paint department also painted it all over. And they did an amazing job with that. We also replaced the tires and the brakes and gave it a fresh oil change so it's, you know, safe for the family. Um, 
technicians probably had 40 hours in it, I would say. And, you know, this was donated time. This was nights, weekends. You know, they, uh, they really did a great job. <clears throat> so I got to give a special thanks to all the employees here for their hard work and determination to ensure that the Huffs have a safe and uh, reliable vehicle. So thank you very much. You guys did a wonderful job. The car looks beautiful. Um, I also want to give thanks to Guype Automotive and PPG. They uh, donated all the paint and materials for the vehicle. And I just want to say to the employees, thank you very much. You guys did a wonderful job. Uh, Mr. Farmer, you want to the vehicle? Thank everybody uh, for coming out. And now, if you guys would like to come up and uh, check out your vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, there's, uh, there's lunch in the break room. Everyone, please help yourself. Uh, when you feel up to it, but there's enough in there for everybody. I encourage everyone to get in there and, and uh, enjoy lunch. This doesn't feel real. It's <laughs> pretty nuts seeing all these people come together to, just to help us out. And, yeah. Just people helping people, and it's nice to see the community come together like that. Yeah, I mean, and you know, I would love to see more stuff like this. I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I think, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of times uh, veterans are kind of forgotten, and uh, it's really nice to see a lot of people come together to, uh, you know, 
thank Jared for his service and I wish that it would happen to more of us. Yeah, I think it's that you should get looked over at times, you know, and that's very unfortunate. But this is a great, uh, this is a great thing that you know, hopefully inspires more people to, to join you know, exactly. and, and help yeah. out. And, you know, least, that's the way it should be, right? Right, yeah. yeah. Do, I, do you agree? I, mean, I do, I do, yeah. And it, the military's been pretty amazing for us. I mean, it's obviously going to have its ups and downs, but it's always something to fall back on and helps take care of the family at the end of the day. I don't regret any of it. I like serving. Awesome. I'm glad it's much cool. Um, anything you guys want to say? <laughs> Thank you to everyone. Uh, it's been wonderful and uh, I, I, I can't say how much it means to us. Yeah, I just, I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for all the hard work that went into it and bringing it together. Yeah. And really thank you awesome. to the people who are still serving out there. Yeah.